Among all the books, all the stories. Where this is go? my library. She's right at home. <laughs> school, welcome high school. <laughs> I'm a high school librarian. There are small clues around here about an alter ego. These are about Charles Schultz and his iconic characters. Faces that take you back. This is Lucy and Charlie Brown. And a familiar voice. And Lucy is who? <laughs> Lucy Van Pelt. <laughs> that would be moi. <laughs> Someone we all know and love. I oughta slug you. Ugh! Well, maybe that's a stretch. Lucy tells Linus to get rid of his stupid blanket, and he says, Give me one good reason why I should memorize this. And she goes, I'll give you five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five. And then she curls him into her fist, and um, Linus says, Those are good reasons. She was a strong female character before that was even a thing. She says, well, everybody knows that that Christmas is run by a big Eastern syndicate, you know. Yes, back in 1965, Tracy Shaw was just 10. I actually started acting before I was even conscious. There were lots of roles, but then came the chance to voice Lucy in the first Charlie Brown Christmas special. Wait a minute. Before you begin, I must ask that you pay in advance. It was one of the first Christmas specials ever, and Shaw says by the time they animated Lucy again, her voice had matured, but she had made her mark. And then Lee Mendelson said to me, well, you know, we've always had to model our Lucy's after you. She never could have known the staying power this story and this role would have in her life. She is pretty funny, and I know she has influenced quite a lot of people, and there are times that my husband will look at me and go, <laughs> so she does, she lives on. <laughs> That iconic jazz soundtrack, the timeless characters, that simple Christmas story have touched so many people for so many years. It's actually quite an honor to be known as Lucy. Year after year, she hears it from strangers and even her own students. It always surprises me how genuine and how what a wonderful story it is. So that goes right back to being in the library. It's all about the stories. And if a story touches that many people, that is awesome. Amy Marino, King 5 News.